Sajila Kershi and the wonderful, <laughs> the remarkable Josh Howie. Let's start with Monday's Daily Mail. And there is only one story that we can kick off with. Oh, my God. So oh, it is nice. coming yeah. home. It's <laughs> coming. Football's coming home. And the girls are bringing it home. Isn't it phenomenal? I've literally had like my phone go crazy with all the women I know texting me saying, oh, my God, have you seen it? It was amazing. I haven't watched it. Um, oh, dear. I hope everyone's watched the match. Otherwise, that's a horrible spoiler alert kind of you know, if people are going to watch it. If you're watching in the morning, tough. But, you know, it's good news. Yeah. It's good also, news. the end of Sixth Sense, uh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, I gave that plot away. Maybe well. we should confuse them and say, oh, I can't believe Germany won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't really... believe Germany <laughs> So it was a 2-1, uh, as far as I can uh, work out. 2-1, because I've not watched the match, but just been getting, like, all the text updates. Um, and it, it, uh, it, uh, the, the woman of the match is Chloe uh, Kelly, and nothing was scored by us Chloe, in the first half. Chloe, Chloe. Chloe. Um, and, uh, Kelly think, mania. Yeah. I mean, for all of the men's football, all the overpaid men, you know, uh, and, and they've not bought anything home for that overpaying, all the dramas, all the wags. Um, well, it turns out the women who have been a bit more under assuming, probably get paid less, uh, have, have actually done us so proud. Um, uh, and I don't know what the equivalent of wags would be. Would it be Habs? Husbands and boyfriends, or would it be hags? Because to you know, accommodate for lesbians, husbands and girlfriends. Well, I, I suppose, know. yeah, you do yeah, wonder. Yeah. So I think I think some of the women that got the, got the money, but yeah. So she scored the uh, goal, um, and then just like there was an extra thirty minutes. Am I right? Who, who's watched this? That's because thirty minutes. And, uh, you know, I feel like I feel like uh, John Motson is sat in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> all, all you need is this a, is someone who doesn't watch football, who's no, not into no, football become, at all. But become, I'm so excited. Yeah. GB like News is football correspondent. I, I'd love to be the ladies football correspondent. Yeah. I, and this is such a great win for everyone, for this country, um, for women. Not for, for Germany. Get, you know, for Germany, obviously. <laughs> well, Germany can afford to lose now and again. Um, and also, you know, let's let's face it, they've not exactly been very helpful during the, the you know, during, during the Russian war. So, um, you know, screw them. Uh, and we so, almost, we, the UK almost won Eurovision as well. So we've got the feel-good factor oh my God, at the moment. Have we got it? Because I, 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 I have to be there. If, if we actually are hosting Eurovision. We've got it. Oh my God! I'm so excited. And you know, if it wasn't so for excited. Ukraine winning, which was the right thing to do, we would have won Eurovision as well. So you know, we're yeah, smashing yeah. it. That was only a sympathy vote. Let's face it. Ooh, sorry, but it was a little bit sympathy vibe. No? Okay. Yeah. You, have you suddenly gone pro-Putin? You, wow. You, you've have been I gone on a pro- journey there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Having a little dig at the Ukraine. I did have a dream about Putin once. But um, he was quite, quite. This is a family show, please. No, 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 no. no. So but he, he, on a horse he, said, he said he was misunderstood because I am not the evil man that everybody says. And he looked at me in his evil eye, and uh, he, he basically just said he was misunderstood. And he said, "A lot is have selfie," and he did this in the photo. Was he? Was he? A, was it? This is a true dream. It sounds like an Arab. Vladimir Putin. That's right. I owe my accent to an Arab. Played by Omar Sharif. <laughs> um, let's get back, get, get back to the football. Let's go back to the football. Let's go back to the football. So, first of all, they're not earning as much money. Like, way, way less I know, that's money. what I mean. They're not. Uh, secondly, in 1966, women were actually banned from playing on FA pitches. So this is quite a journey that's had. I personally don't want to be a hypocrite. I'm not a football fan, but I am happy that other people are happy. So, but do you watch like the the Euros and the World? Any, I don't watch. Do I watch that. I do. Yeah, watch but that. no, because I but I deliberately don't watch it how? because I don't want to be a hypocrite. It's, like. it's a great result. I mean, how did these women get so good at football when they're ironing all the time and cooking for their husbands? Oh. I don't. How, how do they do it? <laughs> Although there is a serious debate. There was a debate this week online about about boys playing dominating the playgrounds with football and how girls aren't really getting ah. a look in. So it's interesting now they're trying to sort of work out ways for boys and girls, because I, and I know this is a problem with my kids' primary school, is that the boy, you know, football takes up a lot of space, and if it's the boys predominantly doing it, it's just girls are not getting that opportunity to get in there and participate. I had no chance of playing football, but I did play for the school um, uh, cricket team, and uh, I had someone sort of train me up, uh, spinners and all that. Um, and I think it's just because they thought I was South Asian that I'd be good at it. I was actually very, very bad. More cricket racism. That's right. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, this GB News, home of the racism. Yeah, that's like the, the <laughs> naked gun when they say, I don't know much about life, but I never bet on the white guy in a boxing match. I'm not going to yeah. show any emotion. It's all, it's, all, <laughs> it's all truth bombs here. <laughs> truth uh, bombs. <laughs> look, uh, it's, it's wonderful news. So well done, England. A fantastic result. Um, the women did it when the men, after... 56 years have still kept us waiting.